As a kid, I used to look forward to becoming a teenager, going out with friends, driving my own car, and earning money to spend on the things that I want. And when I turned that age, I did all those things. But then I started looking forward to going to college, moving out of my parents, hopefully earning more money, meeting new people, and working towards my dreams. Now, at the age of 22, living with a couple buddies of mine, I still find myself looking forward, wanting my own place, living in a different area, and hopefully have the chance to travel more. Now, there's nothing wrong with looking forward to the next milestone. And as a matter of fact, it's, it's great. You know, it, it gives you something to look towards to. And it's one of the things that makes life worth living. At least I think so. But sometimes I'm so caught up in looking forward that I don't notice the little moments. The little moments that could have added on to my happiness. The little moments that should have been acknowledged. The little moments that should have been appreciated. I canceled plans with friends and even family members thinking that maybe, just maybe, putting in that one extra hour of effort to my goals was that much more important. I started to grow distant from close ones, became more selfish. That was something I wanted to change, do differently at least, make it where I find a happy balance between looking forward and living in the present. I think we've all heard that saying in Kung Fu Panda that Uwe tells Poe. Yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, but today is a gift. That is why we call it the present. A very simple quote, but so relatable. I spent most of my time preparing for what was ahead, or how I was going to react when I got this or that, when I could have been appreciating what was happening around me and the things I already had. I thought that once I hit my goals, I would be content and happy. But there I was, sitting there, looking forward to the next milestone. I struggled, and it took a few months, but I soon realized that happiness was around the whole time. All I had to do was just look. Sometimes we could get easily caught up with this busy life of ours, selfishly working towards our goals that we miss out on the little things. This time, I'm trying to be more aware at least look out for those small acts of kindness any chance that I could get. So the next time you're offered to go out with friends, the next time someone opens the door for you, or when your dog comes up asking to be petted, just remember, happiness exists within you and all around. Not in this fantasy you create when you reach your goal. Now that I think about it, I'm starting to get the hang of this whole thing of balancing between noticing and appreciating the simple things, while also looking forward not just towards my milestones or my next trips, but what this little life of mine has to offer. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. I can't appreciate you guys enough for all the support you guys have given me these past couple of videos and like I didn't even think I was able to, to inspire one person but to see that I was able to inspire all you guys is just absolutely crazy and actually this video or this idea wouldn't have been possible if it wasn't for no illusion I, I hope I, I hope I said that right but he's an awesome creator and like I'll have his channel and the video that inspired me to make this one in the link in the description and just Guys, please go check him out. He's such an awesome guy. And no, if you see this, dude, you're so fucking cool. That's all I wanted to say. Um, anyways, that'll be it for this one. But um, I'll catch you guys next time. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.